All right, and welcome to the Grob Chess Club, grob.tu.com, and welcome to our lecture series, Moving Up to Class E. Uh, this is their fifth lesson, and I've titled it Beginning Your In-Game Play, How to Surpass the 800 Rating Mark. Uh, you'll find that once you're playing in tournaments against people who are about this rating, that they're going to have a lot of problems with the end game. Uh, they may have a, a pretty good repertoire in the opening, and in the middle game they can, you know, stir up some tricks, but when it comes to the end game, a lot of beginners have problems. So by following especially this lesson, you're going to be able to win a lot more won positions and draw a lot more drawn positions. Um, and the good thing about end game play is that once you know how to play something in the end game, um, it doesn't matter who you're playing because it'll always be a win against certain people, it'll always be a draw against certain people. So you can play against a grandmaster in a drawn position and say, hey, I've drawn a grandmaster, or have a one position and say, hey, I won against a grandmaster starting with such and su such and such end game. So that's the nice thing about them. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a position where it matters whose move it is. Uh, if it is white's turn to move in this position, the game is going to be a draw. The point is that the black king is always going to be able to step in front of the king, is in front of the white king. So let's see. Um, let's just say it keeps moving like this. Uh, white tries to push his pawn. And then if the black king can't step exactly two spaces in front of the white king, all he has to do is step in front of the pawn. So he's going to go again. Let's say the pawn gets pushed again. Well, this is a unique position. Say if black goes to the side, black's going to lose because then white can go up beside his pawn and he can escort it to the, the end and get a queen. Then he can checkmate. So you never want to step beside the pawn. Instead, you just step back one space. It's the simplest thing in the world. So let's say it's White's turn again. He moves his king up, trying to get a queen. And now, since you can step two spaces in front of that king, you do it. So now, let's say he gives a check. Okay, well, just stop the pawn. And the thing is that the king can never like run away to the side because then you can just take the pawn and then it's a it's a draw because you can't mate with just kings. So let's move in front. Let's say now he tries moving behind his pawn, trying to you know maybe stir up some trouble. Instead, you just you know, step back a space. Simplest thing in the world. King runs up the side. You step in front of it. He checks. You step in front of the pawn. Uh, if you can't step two spaces in front of the king, or if you can't uh, just you know move in front of the pawn, you just step back one. It's good to get a board and like practice this, just to make sure that you don't mess it up. Um, but it, it's you know not too much trouble and the point is of stepping in front of the pawn is that once we get to a position like this either with this king on this space or if he's over here it's the same thing uh... if it's white's turn to move here uh... he only has one spot he can go to guard that pawn he can't step back because you can just take the pawn and then he can't go behind the pawn which he has to do because then it's a stalemate uh... the black king can't move and the game is a draw so even though white has an extra pawn, he's one space away from queening and, you know, winning the whole thing, uh, you know, you don't have a move, so it's a draw. But let's go back to the first position. Alright, instead before, uh, we said how this position would be a draw if it is white's turn to move, but if it's black's turn to move here, we notice that white is going to be able to win the game. Uh, and how he's going to do that is that once the black king goes on one side of the pawn, the white king is going to go on the other side of the pawn, and he's going to be able to run it up the board. So, in this position, if it is black's turn to move, notice that he's already two spaces in front of the king, but it's his move. Uh, stepping back won't do the trick. Uh, we can go ahead and try that, like we did before, but it doesn't work. Uh, because the white king is just going to have that two space uh, thing going on. It's called the opposition, just so you know in case you come across that in a book. So the white king has the opposition here, and the black king has to do something. So let's say he does it again. He just steps straight back. Well, you just keep running right up. So if you have the chance to, to so there's only one space in front of the kings, if you have the chance to make it like that happens, then that's a very good, for, that's a very good thing to do. So in this position, say uh, let's say black steps back one more time, and now what are we going to do? Uh, you can do a number of things. Uh, I think most of them win, but let's just for argument's sake, say you step here. And now the king can't step back anymore. Let's say he goes to the side. Well, now you can do just about anything in the world. Let's say we decide to push our pawn. Once our king gets to about the sixth rank, uh, our pawn is going to be pretty much unstoppable. So let's say the king steps right back in front of us. We move our pawn again. Now he steps right here again. And then now this is the tricky part. Uh, you cannot step here. 
I said before how you want to step in front of the kings like this, but you don't. Because now, black is going to be able to step here, and it's going to be impossible for you to push him out of the way. And this is just like what happened before. So, once our pawn gets to the fifth rank, so he's, you know, three spaces away from queening, if you want to think of it like that, five, six, seven, eight, so he's three away from queening. Uh, once we get here, uh, now is the time to switch your king over to the other side of the pawn so you can run it up the board. What we want to do is we want to try to control the queening square, where the pawn is going to queen. He's going to control on this dark square right here next to that king. So we had to keep the king out of that square. So let's put our king right here to guard that square. And now no matter what black does, he's going to lose. Because he's not going to be able to step in front of that pawn and stop the game from you know being over. So he, so he just goes here. And now that pawn is just going to be escorted right to that queening square. And then the game's going to be over very, very soon. In fact, it says it's a mate in four here. So, um, but yeah, it's we'll go through that one more time. Uh, when it was black, uh, white's turn to move here. All black had to do was step in front of the king. Uh, but if it's white's move here, or I'm sorry, yeah, if it's black's move here, um, white is going to be able to take all the advantages because once he gets the opportunity, even right here, you might even want to do it right here where you switch the king over to the other side of the board. You want to control this square right here, and you're going to do that by having that one space in between the two kings. So let's say here, um, black tries to go after that pawn. Well, he's not going to be able to, because we're going to be able to come back with our king. Now he's going to have to run back, and the same thing is going to happen as it did before. In this position, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to step in front of the king. We're going to have that advantage right here. Once the king gets out of the way, we're going to be able to control that queening square right here. So the king runs away, yada yada. And then the game's going to go over very, very soon. Alright, the trick with the last position was that the white king was in front of his pawn, so he had chances to win. But in a position like this, where the king is behind his pawn, it's very, very difficult to win, and actually this position, it doesn't matter who it is to move, uh, because with best play, the game is going to be a draw. Uh, let's say white to move, he's going to step to the side, and we're going to pull the same tricks that we did before, with stepping back one space exactly. And now we notice that no matter what happens, black is going to be able to stay in front of that pawn, and stop it from queening. Remember, one step back when you reach this position right here, just step back one square. You just drop back. You're staying in front of that pawn. You want to stop it from queening. So, step in front of the king, pawn check, step in front of the pawn. It's just a pattern that you, you got to get used to. But once you get used to it, um, I mean, you're never going to have to do anything with it again. So, I mean, now here, and it's a draw. And it didn't matter if we started out, let's say right here, let's say if it was Black's move, it doesn't matter, because Black can just step back his face, like he always does. So, alright. Uh, so this is the first half of the uh, the video. Uh, join us for the second half, where we're going to be talking about past pawns, uh, and, and how to queen your pawn when the other kings are on the opposite sides of the board, and, and things like that. Alright, hope you join us.